Firstly, I'd like to say that I think that these men are fantastic people. I think that just because I may have made some difference, I am nothing special. I think that every single person is capable of these kind of acts. It's just that I realized it. I think it's a serious tragedy that Sweden is actually at the moment exploiting loopholes to send people back to a country where they will face what are considered violations of human rights on an international level. And they're sending people to Europe and then they're sending them on to another country and another country and eventually back to a state where they will be facing pain, suffering, torment, torture, maybe even execution. This is wrong. But I think when life is deemed less valuable than the rule of law, I think there is something seriously wrong with that rule of law. I think that we all know that life is far more valuable than any piece of paper, any law, any idea. Nothing is more valuable than life. It's, it's an amazing gift. We only have maybe one chance. No one knows for sure. I also think that uh, for some reason Iran has introduced this piece of legislation, Article 7 of the Iranian Penal Code stating that anyone seeking political refuge in a foreign country is under prosecution. How exactly this helps, I don't understand. Um, it seems only to put people in a position, for example Sweden, where they, they have to make a choice, where they're going to send people to their deaths, or they allow everyone to come in. I think maybe Iran, or the, the, the system over there, the regiment, or the system of the government, is actually aware of what they're doing. I think that uh, some serious discussion needs to be had. I think it's important to remember that we're all human beings. And, uh, no matter what, every single one of us, we are brothers and sisters, and I don't mean just in blood. I mean in the sense that we all feel the same hurts and the same pains. And not all of us suffer as much as each other. But I think those of us that suffer most are best equipped to help those that suffer least, to teach each other, to help each other, as the brothers and sisters that we are. Color, creed, skin, religion, faith. None of this matters. None of it matters anywhere near as much as the fact that we are all human beings. We are all brothers and we are all sisters and we should be helping each other. We are a loving species. We should care for each other as we want to. This is not about hatred or violence. Violence only creates more violence. Everyone knows this. For some strange reason it's become acceptable to kill people. It's not acceptable. We all know this. We all see the same beauty when we see the sunrise. We all see the same beauty when we look into the eyes of our husband, wife, children. As soon as that first laugh comes from our children, we all know how amazing life is. All of us share this. It's a lie to say that we are all enemies or any of us can actually have any real reason to hate each other. There is no reason. it pays to remember that we are a community, a human community. We can do so much good for each other. What we have to do is rise above the pettiness of hatred and violence and remember what it is to feel love, to feel compassion, to care for another human being just because it's the right thing to do. Just because all life matters, not just our own. I think if we can remember to share this beauty that we have in this world, this opportunity to exist, then we can finally embrace a freedom as a community. I think these men, as much as you, I, we all deserve each other's compassion, each other's love. And that starts with you, and that starts with me, everyone. That is all I have to say.